The choices you make and specifically the way you choose to see God matters. How you choose to interpret the circumstances of your life matters because what you choose to believe about Him is who you'll show others that He is. Will you choose to see Him through the eyes of fear and doubt or through the understanding of a God who not only loves us, but is love? Join me today as we learn to see Him rightly, as we learn to choose love. Hello, welcome back. I'm really excited about finishing up this series that we've been doing on Much is Required. And we have delved into this topic, this understanding of stewardship. And if you haven't watched parts one, two, and three yet, I encourage you to go back and do so. If for some reason you can't, I will do a little brief recap um, at the beginning of this final part, part four of Much is Required. So thanks so much um, for those of you that continually tune in to Choose Love. I want you to know what an honor it is for me to have the opportunity to encourage um, you and your relationship with the Lord. And I, um, you know, I can't think of anything more important in your life than what you think about God. Johnny loves that um, A.W. Tozer quote that says, what you think about God is the most important thing about you. And I love it that you're hungry enough in this area of your heart and your life that you are taking time to invest in your um, relationship with God and your perspective of Him. And I hope that these episodes have been an encouragement to you. I also um, hope that they've confirmed things that God is already doing in your heart and um, don't take you by surprise, but just serve to reinforce the things that he's already speaking to you. And one of my goals always in speaking to anybody um, in the body of Christ, and especially in this, in this uh, platform, one of my primary goals is really to have the opportunity for you to feel validated in what you have, what you have with God. And, you know, it's such an um, intimate, individual journey that we each are on. And yet there's something so um, collective about it at the same time. So it's harder and harder, I think, these days to find just solid biblical teaching. And I'm certainly not a scholar. I do love to teach. I do love to get into the scripture and um, more than anything else, open up uh, further dialogue for you with the Holy Spirit and what he's teaching you through scripture. So I hope that you use these uh, uh, episodes or whatever we're calling these programs as a um, you know, a confirmation and a further jumping off point for you in your own dialogue with the Holy Spirit, who is so faithful to lead each one of us into the truth that is in um, the word, the living word of God. And he melds that with somehow this, this ancient truth that is who he is, he is the truth, with our own stories, our own day-to-day things that are happening and going on in our own lives and in our thinking about him and our interpreting of his heart towards us individually and us as a society and his bride. So we're going to get back into part four, our final part on much is required. This comes from the scripture, Luke 12, 48. For everyone to whom much is given from him, much will be required. And to whom much has been committed of him, they will ask the more. And this is speaking into what Johnny and I had a conversation about at the beginning of January, where we started thinking about this idea of stewardship and how it's such a fine line between feeling like we're performing for God um, and actually seeing 
you know, the things that we go through and the things that are entrusted to us as an opportunity um, to grow and to better, uh, to be more faithful and loyal to the Lord, to have a tangible expression of a relationship that's, that's seems so ethereal at times. And, you know, in any love affair, in any um, really healthy, thriving relationship, and certainly a thriving marriage, there are everyday tangible expressions, um, ways of communicating that love that's there and the heart that's there, the unity that's there, and it's reciprocated and it's back and forth. It's very dynamic and very alive. It's not stagnant. It can't be stagnant if it's thriving.